<laughs> WNCW Live Music from David Ball and that Carolina sound as the crow flies. Uncle Walt's band, music that, uh, you know, it's multi-generational, it's coming home again, it just doesn't die, does it? Right, right. And, and two of the guys I played with, let's see, Champ Hood and Walter Hyatt, well, uh, Champ Hood's son right there is on the fiddle, hey, hey, hey. Warren Hood yeah. from Austin, Texas. And his nephew. And his cousin. nephew over there, Marshall, on the guitar. Yeah. Um, Warren and Marshall, how many times have, when did you start playing this music together? Oh, uh, I, Marshall started playing it uh, even before I did, really. He had a band called the DeChamps band yeah. here in town. And uh, they started when they were in junior high. And these, these songs have a lot of chords, and they're hard for anybody, but a bunch of junior high kids I, playing, it was pretty impressive. I remember the DeChamps band coming. Y'all yeah. were kids, like kids yeah. coming in here and <laughs> tearing it up. Yeah. That's probably what got me into it, was watching them do it. <laughs> really. Yeah. Um, and so David Ball, have, you know, like like I say, multi generational. Your your old buddies here's his, his son playing with you. That's cool. I know it. Isn't it great? Isn't it great? And uh, get to revisit all these great old songs that, uh, you know, we played up all up and down the road. We played a lot in uh, Nashville, Spartanburg, Texas. Played all over mm-hmm. Texas, you know, and um, it was quite a scene out there. And uh, so you know, we really, really worked a lot out there and played. Uh, but when did you guys go to Austin? I think we Spartan first Man? went out there in about 73. I think we went out there in 72, maybe played a gig or two, and then came back and then went out there to, uh, it was so good. You I, know. I was going to say, what a, that was an incredible scene you guys drifted into right, there. The right. new music kind of, just this new melting 73, pot of music. 74, 75, 76, I think it was really happening out there. Um and we stayed out there off and on for about 11 years and, mm. you know, just playing a lot of music and rambling around, you know. Right played a lot in Tennessee and, uh, of course, South Carolina. We had a little thing going in Spartanburg, Charleston. You know, we played down there quite a bit. and Oh, you know, just there was a lot of – we were kind of a folk type, you know, so we played a lot of folk festivals and things like that. A, a lot of people always say you were the first Americana band before there ever was such a thing. They say that. As yeah, Americana I, I, music. Isn't that great? I yeah. don't know. We, I think what did it, we, we cut our own record. We took, we took it by the reins and uh, w- went into uh, Arthur Smith's studio in bluegrass style and just cut a record and took it down to Austin, Texas. And people were like, what? You cut your own how did what? <laughs> it was like, yeah. You, you guys must have had huge years, though. What you were must listening to everything back then. Yes, that was a great band for that. I tell you, we we had no boundaries, and uh, you know anything that worked in that format. You know, the acoustic. I, I was playing upright bass, mm-hmm. and Chap was playing a lot of mandolin and acoustic guitar. So you know, we we were pretty adventurous. They, they, um, when I listen to those Uncle Waltz band, those records, I mean, a lot of things jump out, but the harmonies are just so gorgeous. Was that where it started with you all, with the harmony singing? Yeah, or? yeah, it was. I, I After uh, when school got out and I was about in the 11th grade, uh, I would hook up with Champ and Walter over at his house, and we'd go down to the basement, and we just sat down there and sang, and that was the beginnings of it, you know. Mm-hmm. And, and Walter had a sack full of great songs, and Champ was... Uh, starting to write and so we all got involved in that and uh, it was a lot of fun you know it's a great way to learn music I, I really enjoyed it what, what was that Spartanburg world scene like back a lot of bands everybody uh-huh. was in a, in a band you either played football or you were in a band right. and I couldn't think, do both I think Champ did both See, he was talented <laughs> Awesome. So I, I, these guys, they're, they're good, heading down to uh, Spartanburg tonight, first of two shows this weekend at the Freight Yard. Freight Yard tonight and tomorrow night, 6 o'clock is what I have written down. Is that something? I think we'll play about 8, but there's an opening band okay. playing at about 7. So come on early, and 6 o'clock might be a good time to get there. Yeah. So uh, what we want is a bunch of music today. So let's get another song. What's your next yes, song? Yes, sir. Uh, Green Tree? Okay. <laughs> you had something else in mind? <laughs> I don't want to do Getaway, but let's do Green Tree, one of my favorites. Now, uh, there's some kind of Lake Charles connection here with these hoods, and uh, I think this is a song by Walter, but Champ played a lot of fiddle on it, and it's kind of got that uh, maybe a little bit of a Lake Charles thing going on. 